the knowledge of the unseen belongs exclusively to Allah Azzawajal. No one knows what will happen tomorrow except Allah. So going to the fortune teller who will be predicting and who will be telling you this is what will happen to you after one month, two months, tomorrow, or your business is going to be successful, or this project is not profitable, and you are going to lose your business, and you will become bankrupt. All that is nonsense. That has no room in Islam. Because no one knows what will happen tomorrow. Some people, they will say, but you know, sometimes what they tell us happens. We know that. Prophet Muhammad told us exactly what happens. Because you know, my dear brothers and sisters, when Allah decrees a matter, when Allah decides something to happen in his kingdom, he talks about it in the Jannah, in heaven. And the angels, they hear what Allah decided. First of all, what will happen? The moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks, all the angels will be electrocuted, will be, they, all of them will faint, will become unconscious. And the first one who will recover from his unconsciousness will be Jibreel alayhi salam. And Allah will inform Jibreel, I have decided this thing to happen, this event to take place. So Jibreel, then he will inform all the angels what is going to happen on earth. There will be catastrophe, there will be earthquake, there will be volcano, there will be something. And the angels in the first heaven, they inform the angels in the second, etc., etc., in the seventh to the sixth until they reach the first heaven. The angels in the first heaven, also they will be talking among themselves about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them that this is going to happen. Then the eavesdroppers. You know, the eavesdroppers are the jinn. The jinn, which is another invisible creatures who are living among us in the dunya, as Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, they try to listen to what the angels are saying. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, they will be climbing each other. There will be a long column of the jinn. So the one who is very near to the first heaven, he heard exactly what the angels said. And that information is accurate and correct. And he will pass that piece of information to the second jinn, to the third, until it reach the one who is on the ground. And the one who is in the ground will give it to the human being who deals with the shayateen, who deals with the jinn, whom we call the charlatans, those who deal with the jinn. Then you go to this fortune tellers, or soothsayer, or what you call him, palmist, or whatever. And then because of that piece of information he received from the jinn, and he will add it and mix it with, as Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, with 99 lies. He will say, this will happen, this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. And then he will mention this thing. And the people will only recall this information which happened which is correct because he got it from through the shayateen, the series of the jinn. But the 99 lies he, which he claimed that these events are going to happen, people, they tend to forget that. So you should not be deceived. So those who claim that they know the unseen, actually they are dealing with the jinn. And for that reason, we are not allowed to go to them. The same thing, horoscopes, you read in the newspaper, your day with the stars. That is not allowed in Islam. That is shirk. Why is it shirk? Because what the star has to do with your predestiny, what the star has to do with your fate. Your fate belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who knows what's going to happen to you? Only Allah. Stay with us, my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers. We will have a break and we'll see you inshallah.